안녕하세요. This is Gia. Today we will be making jjeokbokgum, spicy stir fried pork. We made jjeokbokgum before and people liked it very much. At that time, we made small amount of it and people keep asking me they need a recipe for larger groups. So today, I decided to make a recipe for four servings. Let's get started. We need one onion. This onion is quite big, so I'm using half of it. Thinly slice them. Let's chop scallions. So you want to use the white part of scallion, or you may use green onion. This is going to be used for uh, the sauce. And the green part, you want to save it for garnish. We need two cloves of garlic. Finally mince them. Let's mince the ginger. Let's combine all the sauce ingredients in a bowl. In this bowl, I have two tablespoons of gochujang, I have ginger, minced garlic, this is brown sugar, black pepper, soy sauce, rice wine, and gochugaru, Korean chili flakes. This is optional. If you want a nice kick or spicy, you can add a little bit of gochugaru and flavor the sauce with sesame oil. And don't forget the white part of scallion or green onion. When you're making jjeokbokgum or Korean barbecue, I recommend to start from making a sauce because it tastes better later than now. So we're going to put this aside for 10 minutes. Pat them dry using a paper towel. It is important to pat them dry to make a crispy jjeokbokgum. Cut the meat in a big bite sizes. We want to heat the pan over medium to medium high heat. Add about one teaspoon of oil. When the pan is heated, put the meat in the pan. Them. So we don't want to flip too often. Let's wait until they are brown and crispy on both sides. Okay, we need to cook a few minutes more, but if you see if there is too much oil, we want to wipe using a paper towel. Otherwise, it's gonna splash all over. And then, let's throw all the onion to the pan. Okay. And then, give it a stir, stir fry. If you like uh, almost caramelized, wilted, sweet and soft, tender onion, you can put the onion to the pan, maybe when the pork is half cooked. I like my onions a little bit crispy, so I'm adding a bit later than that. We want to fully cook the meat before adding the sauce. And then I'm going to reduce the heat, and then add the sauce to it, toss it all together, and braise for about three minutes. Let's add about two-thirds of the sauce to it. Toss it. And then if you need 
If you need more, you can add more later. But once it's too spicy or too salty, you cannot go back. So let's give it a stir. Oh, it smells wonderful. Again, you need to do this in a low heat and let's wait until the meat absorbs all the kuchujang sauce. Sprinkle the green onion to it. Then give it a mix. Let's turn off the heat and plate it. Cheyukbukgum is a perfect dish for spicy food lovers. Mm, yum! Smells great. You can control the spicy level by adding or omitting kochukaru, the Korean chili flakes. Here you go. Isn't it beautiful? And it just smells awesome. I can't wait to taste it. I've been running a cooking class and Jeyukbokgum was always one of the most requested menu. I hope you like it as well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.